Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to D Service Online. I am Trex, and we're looking at the third and final boss fight for League Hall Security Breach, and it is Mantis. So, Mantis is, as you can see, it's a pretty lengthy boss fight. Uh, once again, this is after Game Update 42 with the lowering of the boss fights uh, for any for any boss that's 104 or above. So. What we have here is Mantis will start off regular, pretty much normal. Uh, he'll he'll take some damage, but then he'll have this yellow aura around him, this golden aura. This aura means that he cannot, he is damage uh, will be lowered. The, the damage done to him will be greatly lowered. And so we have to get him near this apocaly uh, this nullifier to neutralize the uh, apocalyptian aura. So. We have him positioned over here by the entrance door that leads to the rest of the league hall. Right here on the door, there's these two small, it's a small area on either side of the door that you can go to. This is where the tank is going to have him. And this is also where you're going to place the neuro neutralizer, um, uh, uh, the nullifier, I'm sorry. You're going to place the nullifier in between this area. So anyone in the group, the DPS or the controller, DPS or the controller, can actually gra uh, will grab the nullifier from the middle of the room, take it to a charge station around the room. It's there's one's gonna randomly pop up. You'll take the nullifier over there, get it charged, and bring it back to this area where the boss is being fought with the tank. And I just want to point out, as you see here, we actually have our DPSs out. He disconnected. He had a link dead issue, and but this is the damage still pouring in. Huh? It's not bad, right? It's not bad. So. With Mantis himself, he is a hand blaster user, and he will he will really just uh, lunge anybody randomly in the group. He'll just come up, uh, lunge him, and try and do a little melee attack. Uh, so you need to roll out when he gets there. Now he'll also throw out this little pulse bomb. Is I guess the way you really look at it. it's a yellow pulse that will try and suck you into the middle of that uh, of that point. If you get sucked in, or if you start getting the damage from that, you need to roll out of it as fast as possible. That's actually going to do severe damage to you the longer you stay in. Uh, next, uh, he'll uh, at 25%. As once he actually gets a little lower here, you'll see it later. Uh, at 25%, he'll start casting fire underneath random people's uh, feet. If you see this fire, it is a darker tone. That you see from Fire Tanks Inferno. It's actually a darker orange, and that orange will pop up. You need to just roll out of it as fast as possible. Once again, if you're standing in fire, it's probably not a good thing if you're not a fire tank. But even so, uh, you'll still take, you'll still definitely be taking that damage. As a rage tank, you can, if you have a great healer with you. With the combination of your severe punishment, you can stand in it and you'll be fine. Especially where because where we are, we kind of we can't really move Mantis away from this nullifier because he has that aura on him and he's taking less and less damage. We kind of want him always near it. So if you get a fire on you and you're a rage tank and have a great healer with you, you can survive it with severe punishment and some blocking. If you want to play it safe, please roll out the way and just come right back into it. But that's really it of what Mantis really does. Uh, you just have to pay attention to the yellow pulse that you saw there. You need to watch out when you, if he lunges towards you, he's gonna do a nice little hand movement, like he's pushing people away. That's gonna be another attack that uh, you'll see. And he'll also freeze you. He'll freeze you in place. He freezes the tank a lot, but as you see, he just lunged. We have a person roll out the way. Uh, and also, yep, there's the fire right there. Isn't that great fire? Mmm, good fire. Nice and toasty. So, another thing you have to watch, you need to know, is, as you see, he is far away. As a tank, the tank needs to stay at the nullifier. He needs to stay at this area. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I mean, don't go chasing mantis. Don't go chasing him. If he lunges to another party member and he starts ranging you from over there, have a DPS or controller, or even a healer, just kind of lunge him. Actually, just have a DPS or controller lunge him to get to do the counter mechanics, and just wait for Mantis to lunge back to you. 
Uh, just have them come back to you uh, at this spot. Don't go chasing them. Just range them as much as possible. Use a ranged ability to keep the aggro on. And But Mantis will come back to this spot. He'll come back to where you are. So uh, that's really it. This is uh, pretty much the fight. You just want to keep it over here in between these, uh, this pillar here, right beside the door, either on this side or the other side. Either way works. There's no preference. I go this one because I'm, I, I just do so. I, I don't know. I was first told to come here, and I've always been here ever since. Uh, but uh, with the Mantis fight, this is not a DPS race, as far as I know, and as far as I've experienced, he does not have a D, uh, an enrage timer. But this right here is more or less surviving. You just gotta survive. As you saw, we had somebody fall, and it's just surviving the mechanics and just burning as, uh, as much as you can during the nullifier phase. So thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.